Do you know it's story time? Story time, story time. Do you know it's story time in our classroom today? And the title of this story is Estella's Swap by Alexis O'Neill and illustrated by Enrique O. Sanchez. And in this story, we're going to see two vocabulary words. Our first word that we're going to see is bargain. Can you say that word with me? Bargain. Bargain is when you ask for a lower price. So if you're selling something, like this lady is selling her picture, she's asking for $1. She wants a lower price. And our second word is bouquet. Can you say that word with me? Bouquet. Bouquet is a pretty group of flowers. Bouquet. So before I begin, I want to talk about a little bit about this story. Um, in Estella's swap, Estella is going to her first swap meet with her father and brother to sell her music box so that she can take dance lessons. Swap meets are where people come to sell and buy lots of things at low prices. Will Estella be able to sell her music box for the price she wants? Let's read and find out. Estella Swap. Papa's truck bounced through the swap meet parking lot early one Sunday in March. Suddenly, a strong Santa Ana wind blew a curtain of sand and leaves against the windows. <sighs> Estella hugged her music box closer. Her brother, Javier, tugged her braid. We might have to anchor Estella so she doesn't blow away in the wind today, he teased. This was the first time Papa had let Estella sell something at swap meet. She needed to earn just $10 more for folk dancing lessons in town this summer at the Ballet Folklorico. She had been saving her money all year. So I see a sign here that says every Sunday swap meet to 2 p.m. Come, Papa said, let's set up. From the truck, they pulled old toys, clothes, and furniture. They lifted out pots and pans and car parts and arranged them in their space, along with their own things. Papa bought anything the neighbors wanted him to sell. Here, Estella, said Papa, you can put your music box on this desk. But what if somebody wants to buy the desk? Papa laughed. Then you sell the desk. Bargain with them, Javier said. There's our word. Bargain. When you ask for a lower price. Tell them that if they buy the desk, they can have the music box for free. I will not, Javier, Estella replied. I'll get my price. You wait and see. So friends, it looks like Estella is determined to sell her music box. She really wants to sell her music box. She thinks she will have no trouble selling it for the $10 that she needs. I think she doesn't know that people like to bargain over the price. Let's look around, Papa said. Javier, mind our space while Estella and I are away, please. Estella picked up her music box. Don't take that, Javier called after her. Someone may want to buy it while you're gone. Estella pretended not to hear. She wanted to sell her music box herself. Swap Meet was a little city of tarps and tents and tables. Music blared from several stalls. The aisles buzzed with customers. Delicious smells of hot dogs, chili, and popcorn filled the air. Papa stopped at one stall and pointed to a hubcap. How much? He asked the man. Nine dollars, the man replied. I'll give you four, Papa said. Sorry, the man answered. Papa turned away. Estella tugged at his shirt. But Papa, she whispered, we need a hubcap just like that. Don't worry, Papa whispered back as he pretended to leave. All of a sudden, the man said, I'll sell it to you for seven dollars. Six dollars, Papa offered. The man agreed. 
So here Papa just bargained with the man for the hubcap for the wheel on his car. See, Papa tricked him and walked away. And the guy bargained with him saying, I'll give it to you for $7 when he originally wanted $9 for it. See how it's done? Papa asked as they walked back to their space. As a seller, you name a price that's a little more than what you are willing to take. That way you have the room to bargain. Now it's time for you to try. Estella set her music box on top of the desk. People walked by without stopping. She opened the cover. The cheerful song, Cielito Lindo, began to play. Across the way, a flower seller clapped her hands. Bueno! She called. A festive tent covered her stall filled with dried flowers and clay pots. Bouquets of tissue paper flowers hung from cords between the tent posts. So there's our word, bouquet. A bouquet are pretty groups of flowers. Maybe the flower seller is in the mood to buy something, Estella thought. She picked up her music box and walked to the woman's stall. To pass the time, the flower seller was sewing the hem of a falda, a beautiful full skirt with colorful ribbons at the bottom. Estella imagined how much fun it would be to dance in a skirt just like that. She would twirl around the stage and swirl her skirt like the ocean waves. So friends, Estella really admires, she really likes the falda, the skirt that the flower seller was sewing. I think she'd like to wear that when she takes her dance lessons. Would you like to see my music box? Estella asked the flower seller. The woman's eyes sparkled. I love this tune, she said. It reminds me of when I was a little girl. I'm selling my music box today, Estella explained. I need to earn 10 more dollars for dancing lessons. Estella tried to keep her feet still, but the song tickled its way to her nose, to her toes. The flower seller smiled. I see you already know some steps. Then she began to hum, Cielito Lindo, as she sewed along the hem of the skirt. When Estella returned to her side of the aisle, she made sure everyone could hear the music box as they walked by. A customer paused in front of Estella. How much? He asked. Twelve dollars, Estella said. She felt proud that she had left room to bargain. The man laughed and plunked down the music box. He walked out of sight. Do you think he'll be back, Papa? Estella asked. I think he finds your price too high, Papa replied. A woman stopped next. Beautiful music, she said. Would you like to make an offer? Estella asked hopefully. Two dollars, the woman said. Only two dollars? For a moment, Estella was speechless. She didn't know what to say. Then she said, I was asking for twelve, but for you, I'll sell it to you for ten. The woman smiled and walked away. So friends, Estella is surprised when someone offers to pay her two dollars. She seems disappointed about that. She wasn't happy that someone only offered her $2 for her music box. How's it going? Javier asked. Oh, Javier, Estella said. I was so sure someone would buy my music box right away. Maybe you should have brought more than one thing to sell, Javier said. Then you would have more chances to earn $10. Without a warning, a strong wind ripped through the swap meet, catching everyone by surprise. Tarps tore loose, whipping and snapping. Tents turned, topsy-turvy. Dishes crashed and metal poles clanked to the ground. Estella reached for her music box to keep it from blowing away. My flowers! My flowers! The woman across the way called about the clatter. The flower seller's pots had smashed to the ground. Her tissue paper flowers had flown away like birds. She sat on the skirt she was sewing to keep it from flying away too. Estella ran to help. 
Without thinking, she put her music box on the woman's table. She pulled a tent pole upright so it wouldn't fall on the woman's head. Just then, she heard another crash. <gasps> Estella spun around. Her music box, it was smothered by pieces of broken flower pots. Oh no, Estella thought. It's probably broken. No one will want to buy it now. Estella was afraid to look closely. Instead, she helped the flower seller. She straightened the tent posts. Then she went up and down the aisle searching for the paper flowers that had blown away. When Estella returned, the flower seller was smiling. She held out the music box. Estella looked away when she saw its battered cover. It was broken. The woman opened the box. The sounds of Cielito Lindo floated out. It still sings, little one, the woman said. Her music box was all right. She could paint over the scratches. She could still sell it. Estella held her music box tightly and danced for joy. But then she noticed almost everything was gone from the flower seller stall. What will you sell now? Estella asked. The woman shook her head. Today, nothing. But next Sunday, flowers. I have a whole week to make more. How can she do all that work in just one week? Estella wondered. Suddenly, she knew what to do, even if it meant she wouldn't earn any money today. Please, senora, I want to give you this. Estella held out her music box. Now you can listen to music while you make flowers. The flower seller hesitated. She paused. Then she said, Gracias, little one. So friends, Estella gives away her music box after the wind breaks all of the flower seller's things. That was very nice of Estella. <clears throat> Estella walked back across the aisle to where Papa and Javier were waiting. Secretly, she hoped the flower seller would call her back and return the music box, but she didn't. Estella tried to put the music box out of her mind as she thought about what she could bring to swap meet next week. Buyers liked low prices. Maybe she could sell some of her old games or stuffed animals. When she got home, she searched her room for other things buyers might want. She'd also have to ask Papa if she could come back next week. Later in the day, near closing time, Papa suddenly called out, Estella, your friend is here. Estella turned around. There was the flower seller. Since we are at swap meet, the woman said, it is only fair that we swap. She handed Estella a bag. Goodbye for now, little one, the flower seller said and hurried off. Estella looked inside. The falda, she exclaimed. Estella pulled the skirt out of the bag and put it on over her clothes. She twirled round and round, picturing herself dancing with the ballet folklorico. May I come back with you next week, Papa? Estella asked, thinking of the money she still needed to earn. Of course, Estella. It looks like you know how to swap, Papa said. Yes, said Estella. But now I need to learn how to sell. 